Good morning and welcome to Rocky Glen State Park. We're going to be hiking Al's Trail through the park, which starts here along the Pudutuck River. This is gonna be more just me hiking through the woods. I didn't properly do my research, so we're just gonna see what we can find. The scale of this fall is way bigger than I was expecting from the photos. The history of the falls goes back to 1850, if I remember right. And the company was uh, rubber manufacturing and a fabric fire hose over the 50 or so years and the inevitable fires that ruined the mills. We've got these buildings now, but Obviously, I didn't do enough research to actually know what's heck currently happening in the area. Been climbing for a little bit now. And check out how far down that drop is to those rapids. And we've got another steep climb up, I'm guessing, on top of these rock features. Nothing adds some dynamism like going from a flat river trail to a steep climb. Got this nice safety fence and a view down to the Pudutuck River. And down there there's actually a remains of another bridge. Bet that's a nice view in the fall. Coming down off the other side. And I know this is actually sort of an out and back trail. There are loop options. A couple, I've seen a couple of branches off, but never in the right place for me to take. And I thought maybe we were leaving Al's trail. But apparently we're just continuing on it. Ooh, check out that down there. Ah, how cool is that? Right through. After that ravine, we're rejoining the river here. It looks like some kind of old road. So we're probably coming back to develop parts of the trail that I remember seeing on the map. This is the second one of these QR codes that I've come across. And this one is for Blackwell's Mine, which apparently was a mine somewhere in this ridge that was mined at one point uh, with a tunnel through a quartz vein. And they came across what was likely fool's gold. So, it'd be fun to climb up in there, but not today. Looks like we are coming to the end of this section of Al's Trail. I'm sure it turns into some kind of roadwalk and it eventually connects to the Pudutuck State Forest. We're probably only like halfway at most, but I got a couple other places I want to visit today. And so I'm going to turn around and make my way back, hopefully find some kind of loop trail for some different views. and. Uh, Take it from there. Working my way back up the ravine. 
I didn't catch this on the way out. This is probably the last remnant showing that this was part of the uh, Garnet Trail, uh, part of the 2009 iteration. The 2021 update doesn't have Rocky Glide, so I'm not sure why it was removed, but uh, it used to be part of the trail, and unfortunately all those re resources have been lost to link rot on the internet, so I uh, wasn't able to save enough of it to have a good idea why. But maybe we can look at some rocks and get lucky. Now that I remembered that, I'm scanning these rock walls for anything that might even hint. You know, sometimes quartz is dotted with garnets, but definitely not this one. Unfortunately, geology is not my strong suit. And I could be looking right at it and not even know. Almost back to the parking area now. I didn't find any trails that I trusted enough to take me back in the right direction. So, made my way back on the same way out. On to the next location. Hiking the Blue Blaze Trail here. And it's dotted with lined with stone walls. There's tons of these offshoot trails which I'm sure are pretty popular for mountain biking and all these big rocky outcrops. Unfortunately, it looks like my battery is gonna die so I think that'll be it for this movie. So I hiked Collis Huntington State Park and forgot that I have this. Didn't remember to even try it so now I am at Putnam Memorial State Park, exploring the history here. This is all that remains of the officer's cabin just past all of the huts. According to the sign back there, this is a replica that was built in 1890. Next up is Phillips Cave. I guess the local legend, according to the sign, is that a soldier came back here after the war and lived the life of a hermit. Looks like this gap might be the entrance. But not quite enough light to really see. building was also reconstructed in 1890. They originally thought it was an officer's quarters, but due to its location away from the rest of the camp, they now think it was more likely that it was a uh, powder magazine where they stored everything and if it blew up, it wouldn't hurt everybody. These stone pillars and this Memorial Monument here were placed because I think probably in that 1890 period these piles of stones were thought to be burial markers and instead it's more likely or recent archaeological work anyways has shown that they are likely the chimneys at either end of an officer's cabin. So while this monument was placed in error I think it still served its purpose. The new camera's battery also gave out, so recording my sign off on the phone here. Uh, didn't get to show all the highlights, but really nice park and uh, fun to imagine the history. 
definitely come for a visit. I'll see you next time.